Went on a major excursion today with Captain Mutt and Mike from Miami. And uh, we've got a Christmas cobia here, but I gotta tell you, it was a cobia fest down there in the bay, you know, 67 miles out of Marathon. Um, Mike, you had some great numbers today that you put us on. We also found some new numbers that worked really, really well. You had a good one too? Yeah, well, we, we you know, cobias were everywhere. It was, it was insane, but so was bait and everything else. And so, any tips you want to give for the audience on how to fish the bay this time of year? Just be prepared for as much as possible. You know, go with as many different types of bait, shrimp, pinfish, pilchards. Be ready to fish baits on the surface, middle of the water column on the bottom, and just go out there and put in your time. Just like anything else, you're going to succeed if you put in the effort. That's right. Put in the effort. That's what matters. And so, uh, you know, I got to tell you, Mike, this is a Christmas miracle, man. This is our last two excursions have been pretty epic. And uh, this has actually been my favorite excursion that we've done so far, even with all those queens and uh, yellow eye we caught. I mean, this was an incredible day today. I can't wait to get back out there and do it again, man. It's good times for sure. Thinking, yeah. We had a fucking haywire morning, man. That's all right, no problem, bro. We got a talk guy who thought he was an electrician, but no that stuff on the lip. Oh, shit. It's wide open. They're just piling in on that bottom part. What's it doing? Beautiful day. Yeah, yeah, it's not bad. So, we got to get some bait because if we don't have bait, we don't catch anything. And everything in life starts with bait. You gotta have pilchards, buddy. I'm not gonna tell you how many puns there are to that word, but that's just kind of where we are today. <laughs> it starts out at an early age when you learn how to fish. You learn how to fish for everything in life. Go. Everything's fishing. So if you're not fishing, believe it or not, you still are. Money, girls, love, you're always fishing. You guys wanna put six bucks in there? In, in the pen? Give me back, Amy. <laughs> Can I mind you? There you go, Buck. Let me give right. you another scoop. Let me give you another scoop. Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah, nice. Thank you, sir. Hey, bro, I gave you 100. You charged me 60. I was joking about the 80. Oh. So I owe you 60. Okay. Yeah, I gave you a $20 okay. Oh, okay. tip. Okay, okay, no problem. Just give me back 20 okay. and we're good, okay? Okay, give me a 20 back. Yes, sir. Could you? There you go. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. We're good. All right, buddy. All right. You're the best. Good luck out there. Yep, thanks, buddy. Take care. Big heads with just lead to the hook, okay. or jigs, and then we'll put uh, two two rods with just plain hooks for a live bait. Ambiance and look at the decor. And this is like a fishing village. Fishing village extraordinaire. He's got lobster, live bait. World yeah, famous. He is a marathon icon for sure. I am. Which one bigger your pan and uh, I've got some bigger pan bait. So D was closed, but she opened up for us. It only opened from 7 to 9. What time do you open up in the morning? Seven. So in the clock. How long is it now for you? That's right. Oh, 9 p.m. Oh, I misunderstood. I thought we were special. I guess not. Oh, man. Y'all thought uh, that was short hours. I could deal with that. Then I could have a life. Not many people have been asking for the larger kids this late. We were in a Cobia fish yesterday. What, you going today? Yeah. Way up? Yeah. We got in the boat and our electrical outlet wouldn't work this morning, so we're like, we got to go fish Cobia. I feel my Cobia hair is tingling. Girl. Oh, that's money. Money, 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 money. About this size. That's fine. We're done after that. We're good. Yeah. 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 We don't need cultures. They're chewing hardy. We won't make it.
Thank you all. Appreciate Thank you it. Thank you very much. Nice meeting you. Appreciate it. Hey, what's up? We just did a 67 mile run from Marathon. We're just south, uh, south, southwest of Key West at this big old tower out here, pretty close to the Tortugas. Um, you can see there's another boat out here working it. So in the wintertime, the Cobias move in, the Jacks move in. We'll get groupers here as well. In the summertime, you catch a lot of permit, but uh, we're gonna go out here, we're gonna live bait and uh, hopefully pull out a couple of coves because I'm in the mood for Cobia. Uh, and by the way, fishing tip is every day you fish, you get to live one extra day. Did you know that? So fish as much as possible. And that is not a What the fuck? Shaking his head like a fucking blue ring. Coming to the clock. Here's Cobia. I'm out. He's shaking his head like a cove for sure. Because he's heavyweight. He's got some weight to him for sure. Get those gloves. I'm off. Broke off on a nice fish. Uh, probably felt like a little cobia. Probably a keep, not a keeper, but a short. But um, you know, we got a bunch of marks down here um, in 60 foot to 80 foot of water down here on the southwest side of Key West. So after a 67 mile run, we're gonna hit all these marks today until we find the fish. We're not coming home until we find some fish. I feel like Jig back. <laughs> you want the jig back? Don't be looking at me. What's that now? <laughs> Fucking Goliath is after him. Hey, Jack. Nope. Uh, no, yellow tail. tail. Nice yellow tail. Yellow tail in the boat. Nice. nice. See how he's got that yellow tail? That's why they call them yellowtail snappers. So there's a sandwich right there. Go down, go down on them. Sorry, it's, it's a, uh, let them break it. Hold on to it. Uh, you know get another crank, go, get another crank. That is one. It should be okay. Yeah, that, that rod is guaranteed to life, so if you bust it, I don't give a shit. Sorry, I'm gonna do it. Oh, oh, follow, that might be, follow, is it Cobia? Follow, follow. Cobe. Cobe. Oh, my back's drag off. Back to drag off. Back to drag off. Way back off. Alright, it's off. Oh, shit. Oh, it's a big one. Making horse. You got three on right now. Triple hook up, baby. Triple hook up. I got a little one here. Oh, yeah. oh I don't want it to pop off his. Oh look, there's other ones here. There's a bunch of other ones. That's a keeper right here. So just, just play yours. Walk along on the side of the tree. Right on top of them. There's no one to handle, okay? Mine's on top again. Okay. Nice and easy. Yeah, Lighter brown. You can tell us. You want to go your way, right? Yeah, you're okay. You go straight to the bottom again. Uh, he's on the surface again. Run over to me. Hold on, hold on. Reel down. Don't grab. Yep, Reel it down. Tower. Well, 
the whole hook. She did. Oh, 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 look at that. Amazing. Was she alive? No. Yeah. <laughs> Ripped her right he out of his mouth. Back the bait, but that was hilarious. Ripped her right out of his mouth. The whole bait and everything. Oh, oh yeah. Is it a cobia? Is it a cobia? Or a shark or a cuda? No, that was a cobia. I think he just poured it in half. It didn't look like a cuda to me. It looked like a cob. Yeah, he did it right now. He's still breathing. He's still breathing. Another Goliath locust. Even the little ones fight like monsters. I mean, it's ridiculous how hard these fish fight. So they're like locusts, they're everywhere. And uh, that's not our targeted species, it's a byproduct. We're not trying to catch them, we don't have fun catching them, except for the fight. We want to make sure we release them while they're alive because they are a protected species. And uh, even though there are some special permits you can get, we don't have one. But maybe one day we'll get a permit for them and we'll go out there and see what they taste like. I heard they taste really, really good. That's why they were banning them. Yeah, like almost to extinction. <laughs> they were overfished. But I mean, think about it. What does the Goliath eat? The hell eats his crabs and lobster. So you know it's going to taste good when you eat one of those things, right? But um, I've been looking at getting a permit so we can catch one and see what it's like. Oh, it's a good one. Here we go. Right here, he's right here. Yeah. Uh, big, uh, it's a big, that's a Goliath. Goliath? Uh, there's a bass on one. Yeah. 